Hello everyone, welcome to another Sellerboard demo video. Today I'm going to present you the Users and Rights feature. So, oftentimes you might run into a situation when you want to grant access to your Sellerboard account to someone else, like a colleague or a partner or maybe an agency. So, what you want to do then is think about what rights and permissions you want to grant this new user. And you have several options with Sellerboard. So, first of all, you can limit the number of feature that you will grant access to for this new user. Or maybe you can create it as a read-only account. So this user will only have the permission to read the information and data, but will not be able to add uh, anything or edit like cogs or maybe expenses. And the third use case is you can limit the rights to specific products only from your Sellerboard account. This is quite handy when you, for instance, are working with a partner or maybe an investor for a limited number of products. So you can also do that. Let me show you exactly how you can set it up. So first of all, you will have to navigate to settings and the users page. Over here, you will be presented with the list of users that you currently uh, give access to, to your account. As you can see, we have one main account and then an invited one. So uh, besides that, we can click on add to invite a new user to our Sellerboard account. First of all, I will type in the email. Let's say this will be a partner, right? And then I will proceed to picking which rights I want to give the new user. First of all, I want to decide whether this new user will be able to edit the information inside the account or it will be a read-only account. So let's say I would like this to be uh, read-only account, they, then I will uncheck this box. Next, I will decide which features of Sellerboard will be available to the new user. For instance, maybe I want this user only to be able to view the analytics inside the account, right? Or maybe I want this user to be responsible for my PPC activity. So reading the information in the PPC dashboard, regarding the performance of the campaigns, maybe doing the automation um, and reporting. Then I will uncheck all of the other options and leave only the PPC dashboard over here. Or another scenario might be if I want to invite someone to take care of my inventory, like replenish or um, make sure I will not run out of stock, then I will choose this box and everything that comes with it, or maybe only specific parts of the inventory module. So this is how it works. Then I can proceed to um, choosing the marketplace that I want to give access to for this new user. For instance, if you want to pick a country manager that will be responsible for your Amazon activity in Canada or in Brazil or in Mexico or any other marketplace that you are working in, then you can select it over here and uh, the new user will have rights to access information uh, regarding the sales and everything that comes with it only for that specific marketplace, right? Or another option that is really useful, let me check all of these boxes back. Uh, so I can show you the uh, other feature that is useful with granting rights and permissions, which is the product access. So um, what is this? you can give permissions to view uh, information regarding the sales profitability and everything else only for specific products. So if I will specify the products that I want to give access to, then the new user will only see everything that has to deal with sales and all of the other information metrics and calculations only for these products that are specified here. So imagine a situation when you, for instance, have a partner that you are working with together on a certain product on Amazon or maybe an investor for specific products. So you can grant them uh, access to these products and only them. Let me show you how it looks from the perspective of the user that was uh, granted with the rights. So I'm going to nav navigate to this account over here. And as you can see, this is the uh, marketer account over here. Um, that has the rights to view only specific products. So these three products are available 
um, to view the information for and only them. Uh, basically, all of the other features are available uh, or most of them, except the ones that can uh, reflect information regarding the other products. But all of the other features and information are the same. So you can access still the metrics and everything. Let me switch back quickly to the uh, original account so I can see you, I can show you, pardon, which are the limitations. So if you decide to give access to specific products only, then these features will not be available for the user that will be granted with access to these two products. So the reports part will not be available because in the reports you can view information regarding uh, the dashboard and all of the sales, all of the information regarding all products, then the autoresponder for the same reason and the money back because it also gives you information regarding uh, all of your inventory and automation as well as alerts. All right, guys, now you know how to invite another user to your seller board account for collaboration, and I really hope it will help you scale your Amazon business. This is it for now. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to us via email or the chat inside SellerBoard. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.